Okay, so when Denver's got something pretty cool today, 1956 CJ5, little Willie CJ5. As you know, uh, I've sold actually a few of these on Bring a Trailer, and if you remember that uh, search and rescue one that I had, that was super cool. And I wish this one was was white. It actually has a white top, but I'd love to make this an, into a uh, you know Antarctica or North Pole search and rescue rig. So it's definitely a, um, a really neat piece. I believe the color is it's called uh, pine tint. This is actually a factory color, as close as I can tell. I, I have a paint chip that I have in the auction. So it's actually a nice little color on it in general. So we'll do a little walk around here in general and show you the lights and different components. I do have a hard top uh, for it, so just stay tuned in the video here. On the auction, you're gonna obviously see, see it in there, but uh, we'll show you that it's a hard top, not a bikini top or anything like that. Or, or vinyl so we'll go ahead and show you the lights we've got marker lights marker lights and we got headlights and we got blinkers we got left and we got right and then what and then our uh, high beams work as well you can see the high beams so all the lights are working so that's good you can see here it's got a, a tow hitch up on the front and we've got a high lift red farm jack which is definitely perfect for an old Jeep. Very, very nice rig. Go ahead and rev it up just a little bit. You know, it has that perfect old Jeep sound, you know, that we're all familiar with, especially on, you know, like MASH or something like that. We'll go ahead and uh, I'll just show you the front of the fenders and everything. You can see some little chips and everything on it. So I won't mention every one of them, but if you see me kind of point at something, that's what I'm showing. You know, the paint on it's not perfect. You know, the body work's not perfect, but it's not its not bad. You know, it's actually really faded, kind of out right now. It could use a little of a, you know, a little bit of a buff, but I kind of like the chalky more look on it in general. I like the, uh, I just like it's a little more, more rugged in general. The chrome around the headlights and everything looks pretty good. The tires definitely have some age to them, and you can see the good years. You can see they're, they definitely have some cracking. Um, they're a 70 15 LT. You know, you might want to change the tires down the road, but I mean, for the purposes that you're going to use this rig for, you know, maybe out on your, you know, farm or, you know, just backwoods type stuff, and, you know, down the cars of coffee, you know, it's not like it's a high speed. Uh, rig on the highway or anything like that or you're gonna go long stints in it I'd probably just leave them on there you know you could change them if you wanted you know I love the tread I love these little diamond little designs there this is something I haven't seen uh, before it's actually got uh, Sears and Roebuck hubs on the front so pretty cool in general but we'll just look here the one nice thing about this Jeep is it's not rusty you know, I haven't seen any rust bubbles or anything on it. It's actually pretty clean. You're gonna notice little things about the bodywork. You know, it's not not perfect. You know, you'll see. You know, it's not full of bondo or anything like that. You know, very metal sounding, but you can see little imperfections in some of the bodywork that they did in general. I did show you here. You can the hubs actually turn as well, but. You know, a lot of times you'll get a lot of rust in these these little little welds. Those are factory. You can see this weld inside here. We'll show you on the other side too. But you know, overall, pretty pretty nice old rig in general. You know, and when I put it up on my lift, you're gonna be really impressed the way inside all the tubs and everything look and the undercarriage. You know, because it's I haven't seen any accidents or anything like that. And I don't think this will. Jeep has been, you know, ridden hard or anything in the past. So overall pretty clean. You can see the tubs are a nice, nice condition here. So it'd be nice to kind of put a seat back here if you wanted to. You know, the tailgate opens up nice. I'll actually open that one and show you the, the interior. Hey, here we are with the passenger side. Just wanted to get a different uh, view. So you can see here, 
We've got our uh, tail lights, we've got brake lights, we've got turn signals, we've got left, we got right, and then this little spotlight, backup light. You can see here, there's a little uh, switch underneath the dash that you can see that. But all that stuff's working, and we already showed you the front. So that's good. We're going to show you with the top on uh, here in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you uh, the back. These reinforcements are here. I think I might have already mentioned it. Is well, a lot of people will put those on there sometimes to cover up rust, but that wasn't the case here. Because when you look back behind here, especially on my lift, it's not rusty there. They were put on here for reinforcement for the jerry can and the tire, uh, the mount here. So. And I actually kind of, I kind of like them on there. Actually, you know, it just makes it a little more beefier, and I like the color. You can see here, it has been repainted, obviously, but they did use an original type stencil. And I put my little sticker there, obviously. As I mentioned before, the plates these were on on the uh, rig before at some point, and uh, they're not registered with it uh, right now. But these were on the on the little Jeep. You can see here the little uh, foam for the uh, for the top to sit on. We didn't take that off. So if you look back here, actually a pretty nice uh, shape. The tub is really really nice, and you're not not rusty or anything. And these are actually really nice tubs. You can actually see all the original spot welds, and everything. Actually pretty clean. You can see here. I think there's some company that makes bodies, you know, you can get new bodies. This is obviously original body, but you can buy uh, aftermarket bodies uh, for these. And I think they're, I don't know, five or $6,000, but uh, to me, I'd rather have the uh, an original body uh, Jeep. You know, not a bad idea that they're doing it. It's just, um, I know someone else that has, has a Jeep and they actually got a new body for it, but I don't know, I like kind of original things. You can see here, it's got this aftermarket hitch. You know, that's that's actually pretty heavy duty. And, you know, none of this, I believe, is factory. Someone's made this back here, but it looks nice. You can see the original uh, bumper mount uh, back here. So, overall, pretty nice uh, condition. We're just gonna walk down the side real fast, you know. Very, very clean panels and everything, but you know, as I said before, the paint's real dry. You could probably buff it, but I kind of like it kind of faded out uh, the way it is. You can see original, you know, uh, weld marks right there, all these little ends. So you'll see some imperfections, little paint run right there. You know, the bodywork's not awful on it or anything like that, but when you look down the side, you will see little waves and little tiny things, but nothing really major in general, but you'll notice little little tiny things. And it's definitely all steel and looks good. Hey, here we are. I just wanted to take a look at the uh, top. We put it back on on the rig. It's actually pretty easy to take off. You just gotta take off these. There's two bolts there, two on the other side, one up there and on the other side. And then if you look back there, there's just some that go across the back of it so it comes off fairly easy the only thing that you have to do in general and it'd be better with some kind of seal but that's not the way they made this um, when I took it off I had to cut a little uh, you know just take a little razor blade and and cut a um, the crosshair because it had a caulking on there and then so when we put it back on there we caulked it uh, back so there's not really a, a piece of rubber that can go underneath there so you could probably come up with something but I just put it back exactly the way they had it so but overall the top is in great shape you could actually drive it around if you wanted without the doors you know you just disconnect this just slides up and the doors uh, slide off so you could drive it around like that but overall in nice shape it's actually pretty nice that it does have a hard top uh, with it the windows do roll up and down you can see here. So that's actually a nice little feature 
about this. So not all uh, hard tops have windows that do that. Sometimes they have smaller ones and they slide. But what's what's nice about this is that it's really big windows, so you can really see out of it. If you look up here, you can see that it has a headliner in it. The light actually does work. But when I put the top back on, I didn't connect those wires yet, so that's the only thing we have to do uh, there. But overall, it's in pretty good shape. It's not rusty. You can see in here in the channels, in the gutters, they look pretty good. The top looks nice. You can put a canoe or something up there, or skis or whatever you want, like a little rack or something like that. But overall, in good shape. You'll see some little tiny bubbles, kind of superficial on this, on the on the door. You can see this little gasket, but really not, not rusty or anything like that. But overall, in good shape. We'll hop over and look at the other side of it. You know, the paint, again, on it, I was showing uh, in other pictures, you know, there's just a lot of little imperfections. And right here, it's really hard to see. You'd have to, have to get it just right. You can see some kind of little runs where they tried to wet sand it. Uh, out of there so um, overall it looks pretty good we'll just look here you can see here this needs to be uh, sealed probably a little black uh, RTV or something like that but we'll just look around the back here too and it just locks up there so I'll just show you this other side real fast the, the gutter looks good the store looks good too. So, and again, on over here, you can see a little bit underneath the paint and a couple little spots. But overall, nice condition. Hey, I just wanted to show you the interior uh, really quick. The first thing you're going to notice here is I actually got a, a bench seat in it, which is kind of unique uh, to these because usually you just see a bucket seat but this is nice because you could put three people up here you know the steering wheel is in really good condition I haven't seen any major cracks or anything on it you know a little hairline one right there but a lot of times these have big huge gaps all over the place so overall looks really good you can see up here across the, the dash area looks looks nice you can see here the speed on needle broke off and I think that's the end uh, right there. We'll take it out for a drive here in a little bit. Uh, but everything seems to be uh, working really good. I like the uh, actual the little shifter knobs here. They're kind of a, you know, a plastic, you know, definitely vintage. This one's red and this one's kind of a clear. So really, really cool. And it does have a heater. If you look right here, there's a little... There you go. You can hear the heater down there. And it does have defrost. And if you look underneath there, there's little doors, and if you shut the, do the doors, then it comes up right here a little bit. So when the top is on, it actually stays uh, pretty warm. But if you just want to take a notice, too, um, the floors are really, really nice in this one here. Very, very nice. And, you know, they're not rusty or have any major problems. I'll go over on the other side uh, here in a minute. You can see here also the blinker, a little light. So that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and hop around and look at the other side. I just want to walk here in the back, you know, the tubs and everything. I think I already might have showed this, but really nice condition. I was going to pop this open real fast. You know, the chains. That, fold that down so all this area is really really nice nice condition overall what I like about this the most is that you're not going to be afraid to drive it you know and, and enjoy it pretty cool you can see these little pull straps these actually when I put the top back on when you open the door this is your little stops but again if you look inside here the glove box you'll see some duct tape on this original box in here but overall pretty nice condition and I'm just really impressed with the floor you can see here I'm missing one bolt and I 
just noticed that. You would have thought I would have noticed it, but I'll put a bolt back in there. And I don't know what these two, a uh, little spot here is what was, what went there. But um, overall, good condition. And I'll show you how the, the hood flips open. I mean, the, uh, the windscreen comes down. You just hit these little latches here. And you'll notice right up here, these little, little stands. So you just flip it forward. And there you go there. So that's actually pretty cool. And when I was talking about the vents, this is the vent for the defrost and it comes up through here. So, but you look here, the bulkhead and stuff, really, really nice uh, condition. So hope that gives you a good look of the interior uh, in general. And we'll show you some more stuff. Hey, we're going to take a look underneath the hood here. Pretty simple. Just hit the two latches. And you're going to see up here, this here is actually on there on purpose. If you wanted it to stay in position, you just flip that forward and then erase the hood and have it, have it click up there. I'm not going to click it in. I'm just going to put it up there for now. But because it's not windy or anything like that. So I just wanted to look under, underneath the hood here real fast. Very cool little motor, 134 Hurricane engine. They're uh, pretty known for these motors and, and very, very popular. This engine was rebuilt a few years back. I don't have any documentation or paperwork or anything on it, but it does run really, really good. We did put a new valve cover gasket on it. The uh, transfer case is a uh, is a Dana 18 and then we have the front axle is a, a Dana 25 it could be a 27 but I doubt it it's I believe it's a, a 25 because I kind of um, did both and then it has a Dana 44 in the, in the rear and a T90 uh, trans uh, transmission so overall nice underneath the hood here in general and the cowl looks in really really good shape you can see all the original welds and everything and it's it's not all beat up I haven't seen any signs where it's been wrecked or anything like that all really really clean so we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff here in a little bit when I put it up on my lift you might be able to see that number under uh, on the uh, block in general so you know really tidy underneath here let's go ahead and uh, start it up you can hear it run. I love the sound of it actually. Very, very smooth. Go ahead and rev it up. You know, it's just like a MASH commercial. You know, it just sounds, sounds good. You can see the uh, tag here. Willie's tag on the firewall and the VIN number matches on the title as well. Title's in our Denmark's name. So go ahead and uh, hit the horn. Hey, thanks for driving around with us in the little CJ5. You know, these little things are so fun. You know, everyone that sees you likes, likes to wave. You feel like you're in a parade all the time, but, you know, mostly I like taking them out, the, you know, back to the old trails and different things. And actually where I live now, really nice out here because we do live kind of out in the woods a lot of farmland so a lot of twisties in the roads and stuff like that but obviously it's not, it's not a horsepower rig or anything like that so we'll just cruise it around a little bit i just wanted to give you a, an idea of what it's like behind the wheel you know it's actually pretty smooth for an old jeep you know drive straight down the road you know not a lot of shake in the, in the uh, steering wheel or anything like that so right now we're in third gear Clutch feels good, brakes feel good. We'll actually put the brakes on right now. I'll just show you, it stops pretty nice and straight you know, overall. So anyways, we'll uh, just cruise it around a little bit more and show you some different stuff. I just wanted to show you the odometer doesn't work. The speedometer doesn't work. You can see the arm broke off there. Off the needle, but the needle's not moving at all. You can see the temperature gauge gauge works so there's not a lot of other things i mean you got your light switch choke and your throttle and your heater control i mean what else do you need so we'll cruise around a little bit more and uh, show you some more stuff 
Okay, here we are. We're going to take a look underneath the little willies. It's actually really solid. You're going to see underneath here. We'll have all the details in general in the uh, auction about the components and different things. But, you know, it's nice to do a video in general. What I'm trying to show you is, you know, just different things about it. You know, I can poke at things and, uh, you know, just give better descriptions of stuff, especially like the floors and frame and all that stuff. So you're still going to see the uh, still photos and everything uh, but this just gives another look perspective you can see here you know the shocks are in really good shape you, know, you can see here the rear end we did when you see numbers like 1018 we uh, changed the gear oil and everything in them and <clears throat> you can see here the brake line looks in really good uh, condition there I don't see any cracks you can see this this brake line here looks in nice shape as well. Yeah, it's hard to get in there. There you go. You know, it looks like someone redid the brakes on it a while back because these all these lines are pretty pretty clean. You can see this brake line here. You know, it's pliable and it looks good. I was going to show you where the shock mounts up up there. I'm actually pretty impressed with this Jeep underneath in general. There's the part number. We'll take a photo of that uh, for you so you can research that. But I haven't had any uh, major oil leaks or anything like that. You'll see a little dampness around the <coughs> oil pan there. You can see right up there. But I haven't seen anything really hitting the ground or anything like that. A little dampness uh, right here. You know, you're probably going to get a drip eventually off that, but it seems pretty clean in general. You know, a little dampness right there. And we might tighten some of these bolts here around the pan. You know, but we did check the fluid in it as well, and it, it looked good. <clears throat> if you look here at the floors, really nice floors for one of these rigs. I mean, look at that. Very, very nice. You can see the body mount there, looks in good shape. Look across over here, the mount looks nice. You know, really nice floorboards, actually. <clears throat> Come around here to the other side. You can see the floorboards, very, very clean overall, and the frame looks looks in good shape walk around here to the back you know, body mount there you know now we're, we're not just looking at the the rubber we're looking at the metal as well inner tubs very very nice you know it's just a pretty pretty nice Jeep for this vintage I've actually owned a lot of these in the past and you know this underneath is actually in really good shape you can see here where we change the fluid. It's dripping just a little bit there, but we just need to clean that off or tighten that up a little bit. You can see the bumper looks good. You know, your spring shackle mounts look good on it as well. So overall, pretty nice. You know, I haven't seen any accidents or anything at all. You can see inside this wheel tub on this side, on the last side. Again, in you know, pretty, pretty remarkable shape for me in 1956. You know, so hopefully that helps you just get a, you know, just a different perspective of it in general. You know, the U joints and everything look good. We're gonna hit all the Zerk fittings and everything uh, underneath here. <clears throat> you know, and just keep it, keep everything lubed. So overall, pretty nice. If you got any more questions for us uh, you can email us or uh, give us a jingle make comments on bring a trailer thank you for checking it out and talk to you later